Catherine. Nice to see you here tonight for uh, another award. Tell us about which category this is and the title. Oh, this is in the category of fantasy, and it's the Queen of the Tearling. So can you tell us a little bit about this wonderful fantasy that will take listeners away? <laughs> well, it is a grand adventure, and it's the story of a young girl who has to face enormous odds and um, basically take over the running of a kingdom that's been run into the ground and is fully full of corruption and she has to stand up and fight for the rights of the citizens and and find the strength within herself to face a lot of extreme uh, corruption and adversity throughout the course of the story. And what kind of a world is this set in? Well, it's somewhat um, it's somewhat obscure. It's, it could be a kind of a post-apocalyptic story. Um, there is always the reference to the crossing, and you have a feeling that these are perhaps descendants of people who lived in our modern-day America or England and have come to this different land. But the author is intentionally vague yes. in terms of what world we are in, but it is a sort of a fantasy world. Yeah. And is this part of a series that we'll hear more of? This is part of a series, yeah. And um, she is, she's a very sort of um, human uh, character and, and she has to struggle with herself and sort of, um, she finds an enormous amount of inner strength throughout the course of the tale. So I think it's a wonderful thing for adults and children alike. Good. Oh, so how, what can you what can, what can you say to recommend uh, this to listeners? Well, that it's a story with a very strong female protagonist. I guess I wouldn't say children, but maybe teens or late teens could listen to it. And um, it's about finding your inner strength and your own integrity as and growing up, basically. Wonderful. Yeah. That sounds great. Thank you. Good luck to you tonight.